In the last video, we saw symbols of a few basic electrical components used in a circuit. This is a symbol representing a battery which is a 1.5 volt cell. This bigger line represents a positive terminal and this small one represents a negative terminal. This symbol is used for the bulb connected in the circuit. It is just W written upside down in this way and enclosed in a circle. So if we were to draw this simple circuit using the symbols, then how would we do it? Just draw the symbols for the electric cell and the bulb first. Then using straight lines for wires, join them together. This is a circuit diagram representing this circuit. It was simple to draw, wasn't it? You can even show the direction of electric current in the circuit with arrowheads. So the electric current is flowing in this direction from the positive to the negative terminal of the cell. Now we had seen in the past that this is not the only way to light up a bulb in this circuit. For instance, if we interchange the wires connected to the two terminals of the bulb, then the bulb will still glow. This is because the circuit is still complete and all the terminals of the system are occupied. Can you draw the circuit diagram for this circuit? Why don't you give it a try? If you look at this circuit, the positive terminal of the cell, which was initially connected to this terminal of the bulb, is now connected to the other terminal. Similarly, the negative terminal which was initially connected to this terminal is now connected to this one. So how will the circuit diagram of this circuit look like? This is the circuit diagram. Compare it with this one. You see that we've just reversed the direction of the battery. Hence, the electric current in this circuit is flowing in the opposite direction. So the electric current can flow in either direction. As long as the circuit is complete, the electricity will flow and the bulb will glow. Let us look at this circuit now. How many components does this circuit have? Yes, three, a bulb, cell and a switch. What is the symbol for switch? There are two symbols for a switch. This symbol is used when the switch is on and this symbol is used when the switch is off. If we were to draw a circuit diagram for this circuit, then here is what it will look like. Note that there will be two circuit diagrams for this. This one is when the switch is off and the electric current is not flowing through the circuit. We see that no arrowheads are shown here. This circuit diagram is when the switch is on. Here, the circuit is complete and the current is flowing. The arrowheads are used to show the direction of the electric current, which is always from the positive to the negative terminal of the battery. Now, here is a question for you. We know that when the electric current flows between the two ends of the filament, the filament heats up. This heating up of the filament results in its glowing and this is how we receive light from the bulb. But if this filament is broken, then will the bulb glow? No, it won't. This is because if the filament breaks, the circuit will be broken.